Hey, hey, hey! Surreal Canine here with more uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. Last time we arrived at fog at the uh, foggy forest and we found a statue of Grodon. Grodon solved the puzzle that lifted the fog around the forest and revealed a gigantic pillar of rock, which maybe has Fogbound Lake at the top. Let's find out what happens next. Hey, hey, this is no time to be gawking. I'll let everyone in the guild know. You two go on ahead. Alright, let's move on, Daniel. Onward to Fogbound Lake. Hold it! You brutes! Good job. <laughs> Whoa, you solved the mystery. You're no longer a use to us. <laughs> we'll swipe the treasure thanks to you. You fiends! So that's why you joined the expedition! You planned this all along! <laughs> Way to state the obvious, Abram. Whoa! You expected anything less? Sure. Sorry to say it, but we'll have to get rid of you right here. We'll make you eat those words! We'll stop you from getting the Fogbound Lake! Sure. You already forgot our last showdown. Let me remind you how you lost to Toxin Me. You are destroyed by our noxious gas special combo. You're destined to fail again. <laughs> Enough talk. How about you? Whoa, whoa, wait for me! What? Perfect apple, perfect apple. Caught you, my perfect apple. My perfect apple went away. I was, I was. Oh, oh, you two, and my friends too. Everyone's all together. Yay! Uh, Guildmaster, what are you doing here? Huh? What am I doing? I was taking a walk in the forest, and my perfect apple went rolling and rolling away from me. So I ran and ran and ran, and here I am. Oh, yes. You two shouldn't be dawdling here, should you? Huh? You two have a job, don't you? To explore the forest, right? Go on, then. Off you go. But... You don't want to listen to your guild that... <coughs> <coughs> Hurry, get exploring. Um, okay. Let's go, Daniel. Good luck! Oh, I hope we get some good news soon. La 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 la. Um, good master. Hmm? What's the matter, friend? We were thinking that we should go explore as well. Oh? That's alright. I can trouble my friends like that. Let those two do the exploring. Let's wait for their report. La 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 Gee, this is getting really weird. Team Olympia's gonna beat us to the prize if we don't do something. What do we do? We have to do something. We have no choice. We take down Wigglytuff right now. Then, we chase down Team Olympia. Do you think it'll be alright? Ismelda is like, creepy. Don't worry about it, she's no big deal. Besides, rumor has it she has an unbelievably tre precious treasure. Oh, really? Treasure? That's right. He's planning on mugging her for it anyway, so this is a good opportunity. It talks. Prepare for Noxious Gas special combo. La 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 No hard feelings, but the great famous explorer in the Ismelda is finished. <laughs> Chapter 9, The Mystery of Fogbound Lake. Hey, I see it, Daniel. See, there's a big fissure. I guess we can enter through here. Is that steam? I wonder if it's going to be really hot in there. But it's too late to get cold feet. I'm shaking with anticipation, Daniel. What awaits inside? 
and what awaits us on the top. I can't even imagine what's in store for us. Find out next time on- No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're heading into a place where no one has ever gone before. That makes my pulse race. Let's go, Daniel. Let's go inside and climb upward. But first, we stash. Let's see, what can we stash? These. This. A max elixir. And all our boxes. I guess a spurn orb, too. That sounds pretty good. Let's go, everybody. Steam Cave. It's another big favorite. But we got interrupted. Hey, Chief! What's going on? Something wrong? Chief! Hey, Chief! You've been staring her down for how long now? Come on, let's you and I give him a double dose of old noxious gas. Shut your gap. Dear friends, what's wrong? You've been making such scary faces at me. The She's tough. Really tough. I get it. You're trying to make me laugh with silly faces. I bet I can make you laugh too. Come on, Chief. Take this. This whole weird scene is freaking me out. Okay then. This isn't working and we're out of options. Hey, Smelda. What, 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 what is it? Hey, no hard feelings, but You go down. Take this. A noxious gas special. Straight for me and talks. The suspense is killing me! Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Snubble. In the fourth generation, Snubble is a normal type. Nummel over there is a fire type. Or fire ground, I forget which. Ice Fang, really? Well, uh, take this. A thing. Thanks for the save, Abram. So yeah, another big favorite song here. Uh... That particular instrument, I think, was also used in another uh, steamy sort of dungeon song. Steam Systems from Ballad of the Bloodline. Or Steaming Systems, rather. Not steamed. <laughs> the Faux Seal Orb. Let's see here. <coughs> Whoops. It's not what I meant to do at all. Pokemon with the paused condition stops and moving and simply observes what's going on for a while. That's pretty neat. So it's like the stop spell in Final Fantasy. Probably. Max Elixir! Always handy. It's Magby! Magby's a fire type that, uh... Well, let's see. Oh, okay. You can still hit him with uh, fire, I guess. But, direct contact attacks will make you burn. Uh, good thing Daniel's a fire type. Ooh, Leer. That's, uh... Debuffs are kind of dangerous in Mystery Dungeon. Yay, level up. Cricketune is the evolved form of Cricketot. Ooh, a blue gummy. Nice. A gray gummy. Extra nice. We're gonna have quite the uh, feast of drinks when we get back to town. You're not getting away from me, buddy. What's this? Swords Dance! Oh, man! Can anybody... Yes, we can use it! Uh, let's see here. Good question. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's for the best. Giga Drain. Can anybody use this? Evidently not. I'll just uh, drop the TM in the water. Slugma is another fire type that also causes burns. I'll show off what Sword Saints does. It gives you a huge buff to your physical attack. Which, uh, I guess does not mean much here. Eh, go figure. I figured it would have done more damage than that. Oh! Okay. That was a critical hit, never mind. Hmm. Dragon Rage. Inflicts 30 damage on the target. That's not very useful to us. I thought we learned Fire Fang right around now. Hmm. Maybe the move list changed, uh in between games. I don't know. useless, but maybe we can sell it when we get back to town. Ooh, Thornberry. Yeah, we've got plenty of those, though. Switcher or let's see. An item that makes a distant Pokemon switch places with the user. Line of sight range. That doesn't sound all that useful. Power band. Held item that boosts the Pokemon's attack. Okay. Time to eat an apple. And I missed. Wham. Ouch. Actually, that didn't do very much damage. And yet, I would hardly call us overleveled. 
It's just that uh, some Pokemon are very dangerous and some are not. <laughs> Another drown work. And here we have reached our first midpoint. You made it pretty high up. You must be getting close to the top. That was a roar. Pretty loud. Really. Just now, did you hear that? Did I just imagine that or not? Well, anyway, we're almost there, so let's keep going. All right, so our uh, our PP and our belly and our HP have completely been refilled because we hit a midpoint. So uh, eating that apple was kind of a waste of an apple. Oh well, I need to free up some inventory space anyway. Did you hear that, Daniel? So I didn't imagine that sound after all. It was like some sort of roar, but I wonder what it could be. Who knows what's ahead? But let's be brave, and let's keep going on. We're nearly there. Let's go! Yes, we are nearly there. And when we reach the top, we may meet Yuxi at last. You may answer my big question. Who am I? As who was I before I lost my memory? That reminds me. I still haven't said a word about this to Abram. Yes? What is it, Daniel? You have something to tell me? What is it? You... you... what? Ever since we reached base camp, you've had a feeling that you somehow know this place? And you also learned about the Pokémon that lives at Fogbound Lake. And that's Yuxi, right? So, the legend says it erases visitors' memories, so... You suspect you've been here before, Daniel? You think you encountered Yuxi, who then took your memory? I see. So that's what's been on your mind, Daniel. Hmm. Daniel. Well, now we just have one more reason to get to the top. We have to meet Yuxi and find out what really happened. Really what? Alright. Be right back, everybody! Two hours later, I have returned. We have to meet Yuxi and find out what really happened. I wonder what you were like before you lost your memory, Daniel. Perhaps Yuxi can provide the answers. Let's go! Let's make our way to the top, Daniel! Upper Steam Cave. Uh, more of the same, really, just with a slightly different song. It's like Steam Cave at. Ooh! Cross I Seed! I want! What can I swap? There. That is what we are doing. Is it a good idea? Who knows? Ooh, calm mind. Bit of cash. Unlike uh, in Red and Blue Rescue Team, the midpoints in uh, Explorers are a lot more reasonably placed. You're not only <coughs> like three floors from the top when you hit the Steam Cave midpoint. We're like probably six or seven, really. Box. I want. Rude. Volby is another bug type with signal beam. Or is it signal beam or is that the name of a move? I don't remember. Shuckle has absurdly high defense. It's bug and rock type. But he was not much of a match for our special moves. Shuckle is such a weird Pokemon. This is this sure looks like a room. It's Grandle, another normal type that became fairy type in Gen 6. When we 
we've kind of got plenty of escape orbs already, I think. Well, I might swap the drought orb for it. Drought orbs are, you know, situational at best. Escape orbs are useful anywhere. We're, uh, see, we're moving out of the stick zone and graduating onto iron thorns. <coughs> That's nice. Illumise is the female uh, version of Volbeat. Another bug type. Max Elixir. Huh? Well, I eat you! Ha ha! Is uh, kind of absurdly generous with its items, if you really think about it. <coughs> Ooh, clear gummy. It's uh, for ice types. Hang on a second. Some old friends of mine are in town. That's pretty cool. But let's get back to the game. reached the top and I have no idea where my glass of water is we kind of far up this place it feels it feels strange somehow the very air is charged with tension it's making my skin crawl all over I feel like I'm being crushed I a terrible sense of danger eat that sound we heard earlier, Daniel. Just as I thought. It was the sound of roaring. Something is... is coming. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey! Check this out, everyone! This is it? The Groudon statue? Oh, but there's, like, no one else here. Are you really sure you saw the Guildmaster, Albert? Sure, I'm sure. I saw her when I was scuttling back to base camp. Guildmaster dashed past all willy-nilly in hot pursuit of a perfect apple. I gave her a shout and a wave, but she seemed too occupied to holler back. But I guess that Daniel's team went ahead. So I bet the Guildmaster went up after them, don't you think? Hmm? The ground... What is shaking? What? Whatever could that be? What an uproar! Is it maybe? Something is going on up there. Let's head up. Hurry! <coughs> hmm? Hey, Dad, did you hear something right over there? Like moaning and groaning? Oh, you just imagined it. Now let's hurry. Yep. Dun, dun, dun! Ouchie wow wow. I'm d d d deflated. I can't move. <coughs> how did that happen? How did we. How did you smell the stroke off a noxious guy special like it was nothing? And how did, how did she strike back at us? It's unbelievable. That's the Guildmaster for you. She's crazy. <laughs> it's Crowdon! <laughs> you! Have you come to desecrate this place? Depart now! But all we want to do wants to go to Fogbound Lake. What? Fogbound Lake? I am the guardian of Fogbound Lake. I am Groudon. You will never leave here alive, intruders. What?
Hey, hey, there's a way in. We can go out through here. Let's hurry! Hey. Hey, Mr. Paul, can I ask you something while we're running? Mr. Paul, do you know about a Pokemon called Groudon? Well, of course! Just what do you take me for? I'm only the head of intelligence for our guild. Groudon is a legendary Pokemon spoken of in myths passed down through generations. A legendary Pokemon? Correct. The myths say that he raised land from the sea, and that he built up the continents. Ooh boy, that sounds like a colossal Pokemon. What if you were to face Groudon in battle? What would happen? Battle? Out of the question! Ah! If anyone were foolish enough to face Groudon in a battle, well, it would be like throwing your life away. He is that strong, like all legendary Pokemon. Ugh, this is scary. But we need to be brave. And I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Daniel. Prepare for my wrath! It's boss time! Groudon is a pure ground type. We are both weak against ground. This is probably the hardest boss in the game for us. That's why we brought this. We just kind of completely shut him down. Swords dance time! Another one. One more. Alright, we got this. Let's go! That was weak. Weaker than I thought it would be. Ooh, ouch. What just happened? Get back here. Okay, he's no longer cross-eyed, but we have smoke screen. Groudon quickly steps back. Let's see. Boom. Uh-oh, he recovered. Yeah, paralyzed. Scary face, I got slowed. Well, let's put you to sleep. Cool. Abram, your physical attacks will be better in this situation. But never mind, we took him down without taking a single hit. <laughs> Take that, Crowdon. That is my revenge for 11 years ago. We did it! We defeated Groudon! But, is it really... I think it is really time for me to go get my water. Excuse me for a minute. I've returned. What? It was a fake! Huh? Groudon disappeared? That was... That was not Groudon. That Groudon was nothing more than an illusion that I conjured. Who said that? Like I said earlier, I am the Guardian here, and I cannot allow you to pass. Wait, please, we're not here to cause trouble. We only came for information. Information, you say? Yes, that's the honest truth. Well, we admit that we're an exploration team, and we'd like to leave a treasure after all our effort. But we will leave without any if you have a problem with that. We're happy to say we just made it this far. Please, please believe us. Hmm, well... Okay, I believe you.
Let me welcome you, then. I am Yuxi, the guardian of Fogbound Lake. What? Did you say Yuxi? Yes, truly. I stand guard over something special that lies in Fogbound Lake. Now, let me escort you to Fogbound Lake. Please, come this way. And we all need to save. Wow, it's become dark outside. It may be a little difficult to see at night, but... Behold, Fogbound Lake. Wow. That's incredible! Who'd expect to see such a big lake on a plateau so high up? And there's floating Volbeat and Illumis. So beautiful! Water constantly wells up from far below this place. It flows up so heavily that it has long formed this enormous lake. Now, cast your eyes to the glowing area at the lake's center. Yes, I see it! It's radiating from below! That blue-green radiance, right? Step forward for a closer look. What could that be? I can't figure it out, but it's making my heart race. Why? Why should it stir me up so much? Why is my pulse speeding all of a sudden? That's fantastic! But what is that? That's such a mystical quality. That is a time gear. What? That's a time gear? Yes, I guard the time gear. It's the sole reason I'm here. <clears throat> Others before you have tried to trespass here, but I use my Groudon illusion to chase most of them off. Groudon? How'd you do that? That is something I create using my psychic abilities. Like so. Ah! There's no need to be startled. As I said, it's just an illusion. What you fought was no more than that. There have been others before who defeated my Groudon illusion. They managed to make their way to this spot, but they were trespassers, so I took away their memories, and thus protected the lake. Took away their memories? Oh, that's right! We hope... We want to ask you something, Yuxi. Meet my partner, Daniel. At present, a Pokemon. At one time, a human. Oh, really? A human? Yes, but Daniel has lost all memory of being a human. So, we're wondering, have you maybe met Daniel before, Yuxi? And did you take away Daniel's memory? Has that ever happened? Did a human ever come here? Do you remember anything like that ever happening, Yuxi? The answer is no. No human has ever come here. I should explain further. I erase only memories of Fogbound Lake. I cannot fully erase all memories from living beings. I had nothing to do with your friend's memory loss. Nor anything to do with your friend's transformation into a Pokemon. The cause lies elsewhere. Oh, well, that's okay. So it doesn't seem like you've been here after all, Daniel. Yuxi, we hope to meet you to learn more about my partner. Uh, what's that? Time gear! A time gear! Well, too bad! We can't take a time gear. Ismelda! Wow! Fantastic! And who might this be? That's our guildmaster. Glad to meet you, friend! 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 Glad to greet you, friend! Friend! Amazing! Friend! Gaze upon this amazing view! And delayed we came. La dee la dee la dee. <sighs> Here we are at last. No time to catch our breath. We gotta hurry. Hey, hey! Someone's over there! Let's go! <coughs> ah! It's Groudon! Spit it out! D -d -d ding Don't eat me! I'm not tasty! Hello to one and all! So what's wrong? Guildmaster! Oh, never mind that! Everyone, look out there! It's spouting! 
Pretty, pretty. Huh? Ooh. It's a geyser. Hi, so shimmering. Yep, yep, some kind of pretty. Yes, the lake geyser erupts every now and then. It sends up water just like a fountain, and the time gear sends up illumination from below, while many Illumis and Voldy glow upon the fountain, fountain of water. In harmony, they are the very vision of beauty. A treasure! The treasure must be the view of Fogbound Lake. Too bad nobody thought to bring a camera. Are you taking in this view, Daniel? This is so magical. It's really too bad that we didn't learn anything about your past, Daniel. But I'm glad we came. I'm happy that I got to see such a beautiful scene with everyone. I'm truly happy. I'm glad I came, too. Sure, it's true we never learned who I am. Hey, hang on, Yuxi said... Yuxi said he didn't know me, but if that's true, how did I know about this place? And that time gear? When I see that time gear, why does my pulse race when I see it? And this unease I feel. What does it mean? So sorry to have disturbed you. Somebody just texted me. Had a fantastic time! Friend! 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 I shall not take away your memories of this place. You have earned my trust. But I must ask that you keep this place a secret. Surely, thank you! We all know what we need to do! You know, another time gear's been stolen. This one must stay safe! If we don't ever say a word about this place, I swear it in the name of the Wigglytuff Guild! Please hold true to that promise. Okay, let's be on our way. Miss Paul, if you will? I'll hop to it, Guildmaster! Everyone, we're going back to the Guild! Hooray! And so, the guild's long and challenging expedition finally came to an end. Ismelda and the other members safely returned to the guild. For Daniel and the apprentices, going back to the guild meant taking up the standard training schedule. It was life as usual back in the guild. Unless we burn the whole place down. <laughs> the clouds lifted from Fogbound Lake and its surrounding areas. Yay! We got a bigger treasure bag. We can now carry 40 items. There's one more message. A special episode, is Melda the Prodigy, has been unlocked. Yay! Friendly friends. Well, that was all very nice. I think it is time to save our game, and next time, we'll see what Ismelda was like as a little Iggly buff. See y'all later.